Hi everyone! Welcome to Season 2, Episode 9 of Mommy and Me Tutorials. Today, we'll be looking at the SEA 2022 boss paper, and we'll be looking at question 27. Would you like to read? Sure. A vendor received a total of $125 from the sale of snow cones and ice cream cones. Wait, so there's a vendor that sells both snow cones and ice cream cones? Yes. Where is he located? Pigeon Point. Pigeon Point, all right. I definitely need to go Pigeon Point then. <laughs> Continue. The cost of a snow cone is $5 and the cost of an ice cream cone is $10. Mm -hmm. He sold seven more snow cones than ice cream cones. So the cost of one snow cone was $5. Pretty delicious looking snow cone. Colorful. <laughs> and, and the, the cost, cost of one ice cream cone was $10. Okay. But he sold seven more snow cones than ice cream cones. What does this word more mean? The word more means that he sold seven additional snow cones. So it means that he would have sold some amount of snow cones. And he would have sold some amount of ice cream cones but we are saying that the amount of snow cones that he sold was equal to the same amount of, of ice, ice cream, cream cones, cones that, that he sold. sold so for example if he sold three snow cones he sold three ice cream cones another example is if he sold 10 snow cones he, he sold, sold 10 ice cream cones so the numbers are equal Right. However, because he sold seven more snow cones than ice cream cones, that means that he sold an unknown amount of ice cream cones, but the same uh, right. unknown amount of snow cones plus yeah. an additional seven snow cones. Ah, okay. And the total that the vendor earned from selling these amounts of snow cones and ice cream cones is... $125. Okay. What's the first step? Step one is to identify one group. What is one group? One group hmm. consists of one snow cone and one ice cream cone. Okay. What is the second step? What do you want to do next? Step two is to calculate how many snow cones were sold. So seven more snow cones than ice cream cones were sold. Right, and this is how we want to represent it. Yes, an unknown amount, an unknown amount of snow cones plus mm -hmm. an additional seven. Okay. What shall we do next? Step three: calculate the cost of one snow cone and one ice cream cone. And we said that one snow cone and one ice cream cone represented one group. group. So, what is the cost of this one group? One snow cone, uh, one snow cone costs five dollars. Right. While one ice cream cone costs ten dollars, and altogether the cost of one group equal to fifteen dollars. Okay. So one snow cone plus one ice cream cone equal to fifteen dollars. Great job. So don't forget though that the question told us that the vendor sold some unknown amount of snow cones, some unknown amount of ice cream cones. It's the same amount of both snow cones and ice cream cones, but an additional seven, seven snow, snow cones. cones. So what do we need to do next? Step four is to calculate the cost of the seven additional snow cones that were sold. Okay. How do we do this? So we know that the cost of one snow cone is equal to $5. Right. Hence, the cost of seven snow cones would equal to 7 multiplied by $5, which is $35. So you're telling me that the cost of this 7 additional snow cones equal to $35. $35. What do we do next? Step 5 is to subtract the cost mm -hmm. of the 7 additional snow cones from the total money that the vendor earned. Right. So what's the total amount that the vendor earned? $125. What was the cost of the seven additional snow cones? $35. So $125, which is the total, minus $35, <laughs> yes. which is the extra, will give you $90. What does this $90 represent? This $90 represents mm -hmm. the amount received for the equal unknown amount of groups of snow cones and ice cream sold. 
So if we didn't, if the vendor did not sell this additional seven snow cones, then the vendor is going to earn how much? $90 for an unknown amount of snow cones and an equal unknown amount of ice cream cones. That's the key, equal unknown amount of ice cream cones. Okay, what shall we do next? Step six, calculate the number of groups mm -hmm. of snow cones and ice cream cones sold. All right. So, we know that the total amount of money earned for an equal amount of groups would be $90. So, that's this $90. Yes. Here. Yes. And we know that one snow cone and one ice cream cone cost $15 altogether. All right. Hence, the number of groups would be... Number of groups of ice cream cones and, and snow, snow cones. cones would be the total earned, which is $90, divided by the cost of one group, which is $15, and you will get six groups. So what we're saying is that this $90 represents equal amount of groups, groups. of snow cones and ice cream cones, as the total, right? And the total that the vendor earned for one group, which is one snow cone and one ice cream cone, equals $15. So if we divide the $90 by the $15, we get six, six groups. groups. What exactly do the six groups mean? These six groups, rep well, okay, so one group is equal to one snow cone and one ice cream cone. Right. So if we had six groups, that would mean that the vendor sold six snow cones and six ice cream cones. And what are we required to find? The the, we were supposed to calculate the total number of snow cones sold. So how do we do that? So we know that six ice cream cones were sold mm -hmm. and six snow cones were sold but we also however know. we know that an additional seven snow cones were sold than ice cream cones hence the total number of snow cones sold would be that unknown amount which is which we now know is six plus that additional seven which would be 13 snow cones <laughs> very good so what did the question ask us to calculate? The total number of snow cones sold. Did we answer that question? Yes. So the answer is 13 snow cones. So the vendor sold 13, 13 snow, snow cones, cones and six ice, ice cream, cream cones. cones. But the question only asks us for the total number of snow, snow cones. cones sold. Great. Now, is there a way at home for both parents and their children to confirm whether the answer is correct or not? Yes. Yes. How can we do that? How can we double check our answer? Well, we know that the cost of one snow cone is equal to $5. Hence, 13 snow cones would cost 13 multiplied by $5, and that gives you $65. Okay, great. We know the cost of one ice cream cone, which is $10. So six ice creams would cost six multiplied by $10, which is equal to $60. Right. And if we add up this, what will we get? $65 plus $60 equals to $125. And this is the amount that the vendor earned, earned. from the sale, the sale of, of snow, cones snow cones and, and ice, ice cream cones. cones. So this is how we can confirm our answers uh, at yeah. home. All right, that's it. Bye, everyone.